Hey guys, welcome back again to another Tech Guru video. Today we are in Adobe Photoshop CS6 and I'm going to be showing you how to get a color splash effect on your image. So a color splash is an effect in which a lot of the image is in black and white and only specific areas are in color. Okay, I have a video on how to do this in CS5 so I thought I would update that video and do it for CS6 as well. So the first thing you want to do is make sure your image is your background and then once you have that done you then go over to your layers panel and double click on the background go ahead and click OK that will unlock that layer you now need to right click on that layer and then go up to duplicate that layer once you duplicate the layer you can call it whatever you want I'm gonna call this one layer zero copy and then click OK now that we have two layers over here in our layer panel, we then want to go up to image, which is right up here, and then go down to adjustments, and then go down to black and white, which is right here under color balance. Click on that, and then click OK once the box comes up, just like that. Now our whole image is now in black and white. Now what we want to do is we want to grab our eraser tool, which is right here. If it's not on the foreground, you can click and hold there, and it'll be either the background eraser tool or the magic eraser tool. Just make sure you have the regular eraser tool selected. Once you have that tool selected, you can then paint over whatever part of the image that you want to be color. So in the case of this image, I want the rose to be color and I want the background to be black and white. Now this isn't going to be that great of a selection because I am talking and I don't, you know, I'm going to try to do this very hurriedly. But if you want to, you can actually increase the size of your eraser and that will make you, you know, be able to do it a lot faster. So I got a little bit of the green there. I didn't want to do that. So I'm going to undo that. And then you can get, you know, a lot of it done, just the center area there by increasing the size of your eraser. Now, when you get towards the edges of the, you know, selection there that you want, you're going to have to decrease the size of your eraser to be fairly small so that, you know, you're getting in the nitty gritty of the image and you're not, you know, selecting parts of the image that you don't want to be colored. Uh, so that's kind of how you do that there. Now this is a very easy process. This is the uh, beginner way of doing it. There are other ways of doing this, uh, you know, but this is definitely the, the easiest way of going about, you know, achieving this effect. If by any chance you have any questions about this video, put them in the comment box below. Thank you as always for watching my video. I hope it helped you out. If it didn't, again, post your comments in uh, the box below. Uh, subscribe, like the video, really does help me out, and I will see you guys next time.